in Islam to wage war, to boycott, not to boycott. These are and under the obviously the decision of the rulers. Of course. What? But isn't it you? You stupid. You made a video to attack the guy who said we should not be caught Israel unless the ruler says so. Isn't it you, you stupid son of Muta? Says that in your video? You attack the guy who just said what you said. Where is the video? Hold on. <laughs> I mean, this guy is literally uh, like, are you suffering from uh, mental illness? Are you stupid? Are you donkey? Are you monkey? Here we go. This is the video. This is your video. Let's stop first the commercial as usual. Hmm? This is the video. You attacking the guy for saying just what you said. You told him shame on you. We will skip the commercial. And this is Lee Dawa. Watch and laugh. He attacked the guy for saying exactly the sentence he just said. The guy, he said, it is not for us to decide. It is up to the ruler. Lili Dawa, he showered him with shame. Shame on you to say that. Don't you have shame? Don't you have kids? Listen. Brothers and sisters and dear friends, uh, I'm at an event today in Sheffield and I'm quite busy, uh, but subhanAllah. You are supporting Gaza in an event? Is that event for Gaza? You know what? I heard that if you have 10 events like this, Gaza is going to be back better than before. All what we need is just event. Make them a living event. So what happened? What, uh, what this guy in the picture there? Uh, I saw this video uh, of this individual and I don't even want to mention him by name. I'm trying my best not to. Guys, he don't want to mention his name, but he just he put his picture and he put his name there. Like, listen, guys, guys, I don't want to mention his name. I don't want to mention his name. Sorry. Okay. I mean, just to let you know. I'm a kind of person, I don't like to attack people personally or bully them. I, I will not mention their name. I just put their picture and their name there. But I'm not going to mention their name. Huh. I mean, to be honest with you. Okay, and what happened? What happened? To mention by name. And I just asked the brothers, Isha, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him to just... <laughs> you know, by the way, there is courses you can take to open the knots of your tongue. Do you think somebody blowing the knot as the Quran says like <laughs> and then oh, don't do that. This is what Mimi Hijab he did. He says so if somebody so the prophet he spit and they uh, collect his spit that make him go. <laughs> Hold the camera because I was thinking to myself, how could anybody in their right mind? How could anybody who has an atom weight of Rahma? Did you say atom? Muslims are. Are people of nukes? I'm telling you. Atom. Mercy. Like Allah says in the People of mercy. I mean, killing those women and children, raping them. But Muslims are people of mercy. Quran, the believers are those who are soft to one another. And ah, they are soft to one another, but they kill none others, you know, like the others. Uh -huh. Harsh towards the enemies. Ah, we are harsh toward the enemy, but we beat Shamsi. Uh huh. How is it possible? I it's, just, it just, my mind stops at the thought of. Your mind stopped, my friend. I think you are eating too much cat halal food. 
<laughs> you Muslims always your mind is stopped. I mean, since when your mind is working? You believe in a flying car that can carry 3,500 long army. You believe that you have endless penis. You believe that you will have endless orgasm, 70 years of orgasm. If the orgasm is 70 years, the sex is how long? So I come to you after 40 years to talk to you, Lady Dawa. You know what? I think the only way to get rid of you is to send you to heaven. So you will be busy 70 years, maybe in one orgasm. We will not see any video from Lili Dawa and no commercial for halal cat food, at least for 70. And this is how we know that Lili Dawa now is having orgasm. <laughs> what, what happened? Tell us more. How could it be possible that you put your camera up and so comfortably and so confidently, which you're going to see the clip now, mention <coughs> the following, guys. Let's watch it for a Mention the following. What, what the following? Ourself. And you guys will be as shocked as I am. Country. When you, when you go to the public and say, hey, guys, everyone, we should boycott so-and-so kind of so -so company. You're, what? I had a deal with that company. They're paying us. And when we have a deal together, you're ruining that deal. And it's up to the, to the Muslim government that you cannot disobey it like that. If the Muslim government or the ruler says boycott, then yes. Because he, he knows things you don't know. And see, guys, he was saying to this guy, shame on you. Do you see how stupid this is come back, Lili Dawa? This is a video just a few days ago. Saying to the guy, shame on you to say this is up to the government. And now he is saying exactly the same. <laughs> the, the, obviously, the decision of the rulers. What the heck? So all that drama about the guy, shame on you, you have no dignity, you have no kids. Well, how dare you to say that? And now you are saying exactly what he said? In Islam, to wage war, to boycott, not to boycott, these are and under the, obviously, the decision of the rulers. <laughs> Sorry, I had to breathe from laughing. I had to mute the microphone. Oh boy. So this guy is a scumbag and he have no shame because he said be caught or not to be caught is up to the ruler. And now you donkey, less than 36 hours after, you say the same. This guy, he have no shame. You yeah, have no shame. Thought of, how could it be possible that you put your camera up and so comfortably and so confidently, which you're going to see the clip now, mention the following, guys. Let's watch it for hours. You know what? It's killing me that he put his camera up. He should put it down. I mean, let us be honest here. Where you should put your camera? Up or down? Very disgusting. You should put your camera down under your skirt. Go. Self and you guys will be as shocked as I am. Country. You will be as shocked because he said the government is the one who make decision, the ruler. But he just exactly said the same. When you when you go to the public and say, "Hey guys, everyone, we should boycott so and so so and so company." You what? I had a deal with that company. They're paying us, and when we have a deal together, you're ruining that deal. And it's up to the, to the Muslim government that you cannot disobey it like that. If the Muslim government or the ruler says boycott, then yes. Because he, he knows things you don't know. And they have agreements, they have taken care of it. So now he says, okay, to boycott. And it happened before. But if it doesn't happen now, meaning that we don't know something. It's going to harm us if we boycott them. Yeah? So boycotting, that's why many of the ulama, they said boycotting is haram. It's not up to you, Habib. It's not up to you. The deal is between the government or the, 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 the government agency, like, you know, the municipality or the department of economy or whatever. They had a deal with so-and-so com company. You come and say to the people, hey, don't buy from them. Why? Who are you? What authority do you have? It's not allowed. Oh, so guys, you heard that for yourself. You heard it. Can you imagine, guys? Can you imagine? The Prophet ﷺ told us, if you see evil, try to stop it with your hands. What? So now, to, you see, guys, because they hate this guy. Do you see how filthy they are? This guy, they keep arguing with him because they are competing together. 
So anything he say, they oppose. Doesn't matter what he say. So now it's just to bully the guy. He want to prove him wrong that the ruler cannot be the one in control. You cannot say what you just said. Shameful. The prophet said, if you see something wrong, you change it with your hand. Hey, read that one. In Gaza, is it wrong or right? Did you change it with your hand? If you could not change it by your hand, he's quoting Joe Biden, by the way. But he just said the same thing. Do you see why we find you Muslims laughable and stupid people? By the way, when I describe you stupid, I'm just giving you a rank between a human. To wage war, to boycott, not to boycott. These are and under the, obviously, the decision of the rulers. <laughs> of course, there should be things that's done. And we know from the evidence, there is clear evidence from the Quran and Sunnah, brothers and sisters. And when <laughs> Sorry, guys, I have to speak Arabic. <clears throat> I mean, they are laughable, they are stupid, they are dummy. 